Now, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and the blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O forth beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we through the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We begin our celebration invoking the blessings of the Holy Trinity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our celebration this afternoon. Today, we'll take the Mass of our Holy Blessed Mother and we'll invite our Holy Blessed Mother to uh, pray before God for all our needs and also to journey with all of us, my brothers and sisters. Also in our celebration, we uh, offer this Mass in honor of Saint Jude as well. Also bring your intentions, your aspirations to the Lord, asking the good Lord to bless all our intentions. Friends, to take part in this sacred mystery is worthily. We, need think, we now think of our own failures and we ask God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading is taken from a letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Each one of us has been given his own share of grace, given as Christ allotted it. It was said that he would, when he ascended to the height, he captured prisoners and he gave gifts to men. When he says he ascended, what can it mean? If not that he descended right down to the lower regions of the earth, the one who rose higher than all the heavens to fill all things is none other than the one who descended. And to some, his gift was that they should be apostles, to some, prophets, to some, 
evangelists, to some pastors and teachers, so that the saints together make a unity in the work of service, building up the body of Christ. In this way, we are all to come to unity in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God until we become the perfect man, fully mature, with the fullness of Christ himself. Then we shall not be children any longer, or tossed one way and another, and carried along by every wind of doctrine, at the mercy of all the tricks men play, and their cleverness in practicing deceit. If we live by the truth and in love, we shall grow in all ways into Christ, who is the head by whom the whole body is fitted and joined together, every joint adding its own strength, for each separate part to work according to its function. So the body grows until it has built itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced when I heard them say, let us go to God's house, and now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. They have, there were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. I do not wish the sinner to die, says the Lord, but to turn to me and live. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Some people arrived and told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with that of their sacrifices. At this, he said to them, Do you suppose these Galileans who suffered like that were greater sinners than any other Galileans? They were not, I tell you. No, but unless you repent, you will all peri uh, perish as they did. Or those 18 or whom, on whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you suppose that they were more guilty than all the other people living in Jerusalem? They were not. I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard and came looking for fruit on it but found none. He said to the man who looked after the vineyard, look, look here, for three years now I have been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and finding none. Cut it down. Why should it be taking up the ground. Sir, the man replied, leave it one more year and give me time to dig round it and manure it. It may bear fruit next year. If not, then you can cut it down. Friends, the saving gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we listen to the readings of today's Mass. And in today's Gospel passage taken from the Gospel of St. Luke, we see uh, there is a call to repentance. 
accepting the, uh, the fact that we have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. Now, there's a, also again an invitation given by the Lord to, uh, to know, uh, not to spend time accusing, condemning, or judging one another, but rather, uh, but rather we need to go into ourselves to see where we stand, who we are, and what we are doing, and so on. Because, as we saw in today's gospel passage, friends, Jesus gives us opportunities to repent and, uh, and also to come back to life. Probably, they, they could be warnings as well, as we saw in today's gospel passage. The COVID-19, the pandemic would be a warning for all of us you know, to come back to life, to repent for our sins, and to believe in God, and so on. So the question that we could ask every day would be, how well do we use these opportunities uh, in our lives, no? and all the time? And, uh, and are we making an effort to come back to life, becoming better persons, better people in our ways? Otherwise, what will happen, my dear brothers and sisters, would be that we too shall be condemned and cut off like the unfruitful fig tree we, as, as we saw in today's gospel passage in this parable. Therefore, we need to bear fruits. God is patient. God is giving us time, opportunities, and it is our duty, our responsibility to seek where we stand, and we need to repent constantly and come back to life, becoming better people in our ways. We pray that God may bless all of us and the Spirit of the Lord will move all of us. Amen. Blessed I, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness of this bread to offer which earth has given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Mr. Water, we come to share the duty of Christ to humble himself in our humanity. Blessed I, Lord God of all creation, for through, through your goodness of this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash your manicidism, cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy. Of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Oh, 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death oh, until you come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Don, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, religious, and God's loving people and children. Remember your servant, Maria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Also, we remember and pray for our departed parents, brothers and sisters, near and dear ones, probably husband, wife, our priests, our religious, our teachers, and we pray that God may of all of them God's eternal salvation. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint, uh, and with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Patrick, Saint Eugene de Mazonod, Saint Mother Therese of Calcutta, and Saint Mary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipso et in ipso. Estib dio patria omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu santi. Omnes honoret gloria. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. We gather all our prayers and praises into one, and we now address our Heavenly Father, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, <coughs> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live 
and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection, mind and body. And for the day, my dear. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, Jesus, who is inviting us to repent for our sins and to come back to life, leading a happy and a peaceful life. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, and God bless you, friends. Okay.